Do not open. Well, I guess that means I should open it. Should I open it? I don't know. I mean, do not open it looks really scary. And why would this package be in front of my door anyways? Whatever, let's, oh, I guess I gotta open it, I guess. Um, oh, it's just my 2015 Coldy, nice. Hello everyone, it is Songa Sodor, or Gabe here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 2015 Coldy. And as you can see right off the bat, this box already got ripped in the mail. I do not know how, but it got ripped. So, um, I mean, before we unbox Coldy, because I'm going to show different versions of him, and I'm going to unbox him and review him, I'm going to give you a little backstory on Coldy. So here we go. Coldy is a mountain engine named after Coldy Fell, the mountain railway he climbs. He has his own coach named Catherine. Coley was built in the Swiss Locomotive and Machine Works in Winthrop, Switzerland in 1896. He was the first to be used in test runs on the Coldy Fell Railway. He also was the last mountain engine on Sodor to travel to Switzerland for an overhaul in the 1960s. Coley is careful, cautious, and friendly. He is filled with advice to give to other engines. Coley is based on Snowdon of the Snowdon Mountain Railway, and he is lively painted purple with orange lining. He appeared in the Railway series in the book Mountain Engines and magazine stories. He does not speak, but he is in Coley's story. He also appears in the Railway series Surprise Packet. So, yeah, that's that's basically all you need to know about Coley. Thanks, Thomas Wiki, for helping me out with this review. So, anyways, let's get to Coley here. Um, my camera would focus. There we go, fam. Okay, so here's the old Coley from 2000 and. Ugh, when was he released? It was Coldy in the Apple Orchard Cars. If you guys know when he was released, please tell me. Um, this is the newer ver or this is the newer version of Coldy, but this is the middle version. And then there's an old style version, which I do not own, so I do not have that to show you. But if you go on the wiki or go to anybody else, maybe if you even go to Rob's channel, I mean, anyone that you watch will probably have an old style Coldy. Coldy but, of course, I don't have one because, you know, I just don't. But, I mean, this is the old Coldy. And compared to the new Coldy, which I haven't unboxed yet... There is, okay, so this is not really a difference. This is all the same, the sides. Um, maybe it would be a good idea for me to unbox this. So there was already a rip in it, which kind of made me mad when I got it, but I'm just, it won't be hard. All right, there we go. Oh, some flew. And Oh wow, this feels like plastic. But there is the new Coley. Well, this Coley has something wrong with his eyes, if you can see that. Um, the I mean, it's it's a nice model. Uh, I don't know. There's something I can really. So it's the same thing as the old one, but I don't like this one because it has a kind of a bigger face, and Coley here has a smaller face, and. This Coley seems a lot more detailed for some reason, as this Coley doesn't seem as detailed, and it feels more like plastic. It feels lighter, and the reason it feels lighter is because it's made more of plastic. This is made more of wood. So, I mean, that's the difference. If you turn it to the back, you can see this face is completely smaller. This one is bigger. And uh, if you don't know what the face for on the back of the engines, it's to help them on the mountains when they're climbing it. Uh, you could read about that of the railway series, but uh, he's number four. Um, it says Coley on the bottom, of course. Uh, I mean, I already told you everything about them, so there's nothing else I could say, but this model, now, they brought back engines, and on the box, which, uh, surprised me, said right here, if you see, limited release, so, that means the Flying Scotsman said limited release, D199 said limited re release, and those are 2015 items that they just released, now, I went to my local Toys R Us, and those items started getting off the shelves, so they aren't gonna be there anymore, so, it's good to pick this up if you can. And uh, good, make sure you pick up the Flying Scotsman. Uh, if you want a good review about the Flying Scotsman, the 2013 one, I suggest go to Rob's channel or um, Wooden Railway Reviews and go to his channel because he has a great review on the Flying Scotsman. But anyways, back to this review. Uh, there's not much I can say about Coldy anymore, but I, really I don't like the face. If I mean, tell, tell me in the comments if you agree because... This face looks a lot better. I know in the old style Coldy, in the 1990s version, it has a very, very small face. But here it just pops out at you and it, I don't know, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. But, I mean, 
this model isn't much different from this model if I show you comparison but um that was basically my review on these two coldies now if you have any suggestions in comments or, or any suggestions you want to put in the comments and tell me what else you want me to review uh please tell me and uh thank you guys for watching see ya